Well, it looks like winter has finally made its mark here in Northern Colorado. It took it a while, but it is here. I want to do a short video on my solar panel setup and basically what I'm doing to combat the cold, keep my batteries warm. I have lithium ion batteries, so they need to be kept uh, warm in order to uh, not damage the batteries and in order for them to work. So I'm gonna do a walkthrough here on my system, short walkthrough, and then kind of show you inside the solar storage container and um, how I'm keeping my batteries warm. So hope you enjoy. So as you can see, my solar panels are blanketed with snow. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time this morning sweeping off my solar arrays. That right there is my main array. And I'll show you the inverter that it runs. And then these solar panels here, they run two separate systems that are inside the solar shed that I'll show you. But right now, I don't think I'm gonna get much solar production today, but I wanna get these things swept off and let them produce what power that they can. We're supposed to get some sunshine this afternoon at about two o'clock or something like that. But right now I'm sitting at like four degrees Fahrenheit. Again, this is gonna be a lot more about my my journey to get my house built and um, show you guys my off-grid systems than it is about production. It's just going to be me and my iPhone because I live out here alone. So if you're looking for world-class production, this is not the uh, YouTube channel for that. But if you're looking to see what a beginner off-gridder that's trying to live a dream if you're looking to share my adventure then i welcome you to to my channel and um hopefully we can all learn from each other but i'm gonna quit filming and finish sweeping off these solar panels Well, I've got my main array pretty much swept off, but it's still snowing and they are collecting snow. Uh, the ones I swept off over there, you can see are already collecting snow. Uh, you'd be amazed how much this little bit of shading on these panels affects the overall production, but um, it's still snowing, it's really cloudy. I don't think I'm gonna get too much solar production today but I'll come out later and sweep them off again. Let's go ahead and venture into the solar storage container and I'll show you what I have set up in there. Just so you guys know, these are used solar panels from Santan Solar. They're 250 watt panels. I get probably 36 volt open circuit on these. Uh, they're on a ground mount that is not adjustable. They're just set at the uh, what's considered the optimum angle for the latitude, longitude, latitude that I'm at. So there we go. There's basically three strings in parallel. So a bunch of them in series and then hooked into parallel. I'll do a video on my array when it's not so cold out. So as we venture into the solar storage container, I'm just gonna call it the Galaxy because it holds my solar system. I have a Champion 8.5 kilowatt generator hooked to a propane tank over there. I'm hoping to not use this very much because I've built a pretty capable solar system. But the goal behind this is if my batteries run low, I've got some good battery chargers that I'll show you that I can use to charge the battery system. Doggies probably want to go in, but they can rough the cold here for a while. I think it's about four degrees out right now. I am going to run this today a little bit to test how it does in the cold. See how the batteries do. See if the batteries need charged. I have the ability to charge the batteries 
threw some electrical boxes there, but I'll do a more in-depth video on my generator. As we venture into the solar system here, you can see I have a pellet stove. I use this to keep my batteries warm. I have lithium ion batteries and they cannot charge if they're below freezing. I do have battery management systems on them to keep them from being damaged if it's below freezing, but I definitely want to keep my solar production up. So in here, let me show you my systems. I basically have three separate systems in here. I kind of believe in one is none, two is one. I'm trying things I've never tried before, like these grow watt inverters. Um, they're fairly inexpensive, so I wanted to make sure I had uh, backup systems. So if this thing was to go out, I wasn't left high and dry in the cold. But my main system is a grow watt, uh, 3000 watt inverter. This thing has been flawless. I've had it in place since probably early June. It's now, uh, January 1st and it has ran flawlessly so 3,000 watts and what this does this thing charges these EG4 or they used to be called Gill but they're called EG4 batteries I have 30 kilowatts in this one rack that is charged by this charge controller in that main solar array outside I went ahead and bought all of the batteries I'm going to need for my house. I'm building an energy efficient house that's going to be partially underground. So I have, I have nine of these things. I have 30 kilowatts in this rack and then I have 15 kilowatts here and they're being controlled by this grow watt, which is the 5,000 watt inverter. I'm testing this because I'm going to buy another one of these if everything works well and I'm going to combine them together for 10,000 watts for my house. Uh, these, this is actually a 240 volt inverter, so it requires this uh, transformer. And I will do a video on that too. I've, I've been happy with this system so far. So this right now charges the 15 kilowatts that's in there. And my main system, like I said, is the, that one over there. Uh, once the house is built, these will probably, the grow watts will probably go to the house and I'll power the compound up here that I call it. I'll power the, um, the shed with these DIY battery systems that I built. So right here I have a less expensive charge controller and a less expensive inverter as the backup system. I have two DIY batteries hooked to this. Uh, one is a 24 volt, 150 amp hour battery that you see right down here in this computer case that I built. I'll do a video on that. And then inside of here is another 24 volt, 200 amp hour battery. Uh, excuse my mess up here. I was hooking a small DC heater up inside of here. You can, you can see the heater right here to keep these things warm if I don't want to run the pellet stove, uh, there's the controller for that. So again, I have to keep these batteries above freezing in order for them to charge properly. But I'm doing that mostly with my, my pellet stove right here. So yes, I'm using wood to keep the solar panels warm. So my goal with the generator is rather than run it into the inverter which you can do i want to basically just use the generator to charge the battery so i have a cord coming into here that's hooked up hooked up to the generator outside and um basically i will charge i'll plug in these ac um, 24 volt for the 24 volt systems and then i also have a 30 amp or 25 amp 48 volt system so if i do need to charge my batteries i can fire up the generator and i can dump some decent amperage into these systems for days when i don't have any sun you know if we go three or four days without any sun i'm definitely going to probably need the generator to 
to charge these batteries but um you can put the generator directly into the grow watt and the grow watt basically allows the generator to run everything inside my camper but um my goal is to just use the generator to charge the batteries so I'll, I'll let you know how that works all right one more cool thing i want to show you guys is my storage shed that you can see here behind me i have four solar panels on this thing um, my charge controller can't handle all four of them in series so there's two in series and then another two in series then i have those paralleled together gives me four but let's go ahead and venture inside of here um, and i'll show you uh, what this runs this runs a, a chest freezer that's over in here that has um i'm a hunter and it has some antelope and a deer and some meat that i have in there uh, so that runs a chest freezer it runs the led lights and i'll show you what else this system that i built runs here so as we venture into the storage shed i have my computer in here so I, i'm an it guy i do some work in here i also like to play computer games so i was actually in here last night on new year's eve uh, with my little buddy heater running and playing some Far Cry 5 on the computer. Uh, this battery is actually pretty low right now because I played for a couple hours. But inside of this case here is an EG4 24 volt 100 amp hour battery. This is kind of my DIY portable battery. And let me turn my headlamp on. And see if I can show you guys in here. So yeah, you can see in there, I think. Actually, there's some LED lights in here. So this system I built to be portable, but it's running everything in the shed, so I haven't moved it. But I have, well, I'm going to do a longer video on this. But what I want to show you is this little heater right here. This heater is hooked to this thermostat over there. And as soon as the temperature gets down to, I think about two degrees Celsius, it will kick on. So before it gets below freezing, it'll kick this little um, 12 volt, it's about a 80 watts, I think 12 volt, 80 watt heater. And that this little thing keeps these batteries nice and toasty warm uh, during the winter, even though it's, it's a balmy 14 degrees in here that's humidity but you can see yeah it's 14.2 degrees in here um it's keeping the inside of this thing pretty warm um i've got a cooling thermostat as well as a, a heating system on this um and again i will do a longer video on this this is my third diy battery And I want to show you quickly, this is where I'm living while I'm waiting for my house to uh, actually start being built. Um, it's taken a while to get everything going. And with all the inflation that I'm dealing with, uh, we've had to slow things down a little bit. But eventually I will have a house built out here. But until then, I'm living in the camper underneath the carport situated between three of the storage containers. So thanks for watching my first video on my channel. Again, I'm gonna do more detailed videos on all this stuff that I have. I'm learning, uh, I'm up for constructive criticism in the comments section. I know some of that wiring over there is pretty rough, but it was put up um, kind of in haste in order to get everything going. I have wired this a little more professionally with conduit and things like that so if you like the channel and you want to go on this adventure with me um, i'm going to be building an energy efficient home underground kind of an earth ship without all of the uh, recycled tires and things that you normally see in an earth ship uh, because you can't do that with the code the code issues where i live again the biggest um obstacle to building an energy efficient home tends to be uh, the government local and county and building codes and all that so 
Uh, I'm going to be building a nice little house that's underground on three sides. And if you guys want to go on this solar off-grid adventure with me, uh, subscribe to the channel and you'll get updates on when I post videos. And um, you can go on this adventure with me. I'm, I'm uh, in my 50s and I've always wanted to do this and I have an opportunity. I got a good deal on some land, um, kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there's no electricity so I'm off grid because it's too expensive to get electricity here I'm not off grid because I think somehow I am saving the world with my solar and my and my um, my footprint so anyway if you like the channel like and subscribe and um, I'll keep you up to date on on this adventure thanks a lot